Dear doctor, on uh, behalf of the entire uh, Speed Medical Institute and Speed faculty and Speed team, I bring in all the greetings and wishes to you and to Dr. Argandeep Bose for uh, scoring a DM Cardiology rank of 23 as a first preference and a DM Pulmonology uh, Pulmonary Medicine as a second preference of rank number 2. Congratulations Thank to you. you, best wishes to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, can, can I know about your uh, medical career and the background uh, before we start? So, I have done my MBBS from Jipmer Puducherry. And after that, I have done my MD internal medicine from PGI Chandigarh. So, I finished my MD in June of 2021. So, and medicine from MBA, MBBS during which period? MBBS from Jipmer and MD from PGI Chandigarh. Yeah, PGI Chandigarh. And... Uh, during medicine, MBBS time is which year? From which year to which year? 2012 to 17. 2012 to 17. Right, sir. Okay. In Jipmer? Yes, sir. Jipmer is one of my favorite place for me. <laughs> we used to come to classes there. Right, In sir. Jipmer Auditorium, we used to conduct classes for PG entrance. So, at that time, monthly once, I used to make a visit uh, for surgery classes there. And uh, it's a great institution by itself. And uh, yes, yes, it definitely. Is. <laughs> and uh, cardiologist, uh, Doctor uh, Bala Subramanian. I have I have not personally met him or interacted with him, but I had heard his name when I was there <laughs> doing my MBBS. He's a cardiologist, a very very great uh, cardiologist in person. Yeah, son and a daughter. To him, both of them studied there in uh, speed institutions. So by that, I know him. Uh, very well. <laughs> and uh, and at the time, uh, director, um, microbiology author, Parija, Dr. Parija. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, we read his book. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He became a director eventually. Uh, so, we read his book for microbiology, actually. Uh, he was a director. Was sometime, he, sometime he was occupying the position of director in Zipmar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Special interest in cardiology? Uh, I mean, any specific uh, person who inspired you? How do you develop the interest for it? From my MBBS days only, I have been inclined towards cardiology. I like to read cardiology. Actually, to say, uh, from my school days itself, I used to be more inclined towards physics and mathematics than biology per se. So, when I read cardiology, it felt there is a huge application of physics, you know, pressure gradients, velocities, everything. So, that used to click with me more. So, I eventually started liking cardiology. I came into internal medicine. So, here also, like, uh, in PGI also, we have a huge cardiology setup and I was very, very fascinated with the amount of procedures and everything that was going on. So eventually that uh, inspired me, even though like during my MD medicine time, I was very, very confused. Like I did not focus much to what DM I want because I was like, I want to do my MD medicine very well and later I'll decide what DM I want. So at the end of MD, I was still very, very confused with what field should I go for in DM because I used to love general medicine. So the idea that I'll leave some talk, like I'll never again see neurology cases, I'll never again see gastroenterology cases. So I did not feel good about all that. But eventually I talked to a lot of people and then I analyzed my acumen and where I want myself to be 10 years down the lane. So with that, I came down to uh, cardiology and somewhere in my mind, I had that pulmonary medicine is also good. So I had that in my mind, but eventually I set for cardiology. Great. <laughs> Very good. Now, uh, so once you have decided to take uh, cardiology, then what did you do? And when, when you started your process towards... Uh... So, actually what happened was, uh, I finished my MD in June 2021. So, after that, what I had thought was, I'll probably pursue SR ship in medicine for a while. So, that I'll get a much clearer idea maybe that, yes, I definitely want to do cardiology or is there some other subject wherein I can do better. So after June, in July month, I actually went traveling around the country. I visited many places. One month completely, I was traveling. So in that time, so many thought processes, everything happened. And when I came back, I was sure that, okay, I'll not do a starship. I'll prepare for DM because I was recharged completely by that time. So then I talked to a few of my seniors and as it happens, like they told me, yes, Braunwald is to be read. And of course, speed is a very helpful. So I decided my approach should be that I'll okay re start reading Braunwald and then I'll start doing MCQs from speed. So first week I started reading Braunwald. It's a huge book and it's quite a difficult book to be read at the first go. 
first week i read some five six chapters and i realized i retain only 20% of it probably then i calculated the brown world as 90 to 100 chapters i'll never finish it if i do it this way so then i moved on to the videos in speed so i started going through the brown world based videos and you would not believe sir i got addicted to it almost day in day out i was watching videos making notes watching videos making notes like that it was amazing i was always glued to my ipad and uh, watching the videos and making notes so it took me two months to finish all the brown world based videos at two months i had finished all the videos and made notes out of all of that so uh, by actually my main target was iniss i wanted i had this in mind that i wanted to do a name speech yeah jipmer so uh, august and september i finished all the videos after that then i did in a staged manner like then i uh, came to brown world then i was like okay i'll first go through all the tables and images of brown world so i started going through that and i realized that all of that i had actually been covered in all the videos that i saw from the app. so that did not take me a lot of time maybe 10 days 20 days i finished all the images and tables from brown world then i moved on to reading the text of the high yield chapters that i knew that okay the, um, i mean this this topic a lot of questions come in the exam so i started reading that way that way selectively and simultaneously i was doing all the mcqs and all the grand tests that are there in the speed up so that helped quite a lot so this way plus i had in my mind that whatever notes i had made i had to revise that multiple times so by the time i and i came i had revised those notes at least three times so i was strong at that point and simultaneously i had read brown world so i thought that i might have some edge over the other people so that was probably my way of preparation to iniss that was it sir very brief so very very brief and um, there is there is a difference between people who practice cardiology who teach cardiology uh, everybody will have a quality and uh, but uh, when someone is living in that and uh, the way of expression out of that will be totally mesmerizing and will be very effective and those who want to do the same field uh, will be put into that fold so that's how uh, dara of uh, is like that so he is one such person uh, who basically loves to teach and more on that he is living in that so once he lives in that and uh, people uh, naturally who are in the same frequency want to do the same specialty uh, could easily match the frequency and start learning and uh, such a blessed uh, person he is and he is uh, doing a great job and inspiring uh, many students many 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 students and and guides them properly and also gives good results and tell them this is what you want and you read this you get it and that student wanted that and that is also delivered i'm very very happy and glad with the entire team of students and also the faculty doing <laughs> amazingly well and because at the end of the day all the efforts has to be converted into results because there is time involved in that and uh, so that student can move to the next stage of life and start practicing and going on to the next aspect of specialization so the whole idea we are very very glad and uh, basically you come from pondicherry or i mean how is it basically i am bengali but i have been like brought up in new delhi actually so uh, because of we got a seat in jipmer you went to jipmer am i right yes sir so now you are right now in delhi i am right now in delhi yes so now uh, and now you will wait to choose a seat where you wanted to do your career yes good so now what will be your uh, message you have a huge experience of learning in two institutes major institutes and means on is jipman uh, others pj chandigarh and now uh, i mean uh, and also you have a huge uh, uh, experience in preparation what do you want to give a message to the aspirants who want to do uh, cardiology so what i would like to say is that uh, there is no single protocol that is to be followed to get a rank everybody has their own strengths and weaknesses their own way of you know having an approach towards studies approach towards exams so what like the first thing i would like to say is to analyze that and whatever your strengths and weaknesses are works towards that we do have some weaker areas we do have stronger areas stronger areas you can revise less weaker areas you need to revise more so you need to individualize the approach so i for myself uh, from the very beginning uh, approaching things in a disciplined manner in an organized manner i always chalk out what is my plan going to be while reading for the next four or five months like even during my preparation right now i had this that uh, in the whole week monday to saturday i'll study 
whole heartedly sunday morning every sunday morning i used to go to play cricket so that used to be my steaming off i used to be refreshed for the next week so i think people need to have that also so that other than that uh, as everybody would have told some books are cer- certainly important bronwald is important then uh, parks pediatric cardiology is important if that it can be read so it will be very nice speed videos are absolutely important because once we come from md to dm i don't know it so happened to me that what we read for dm is probably like much more advanced than what i have read in md particularly in cardiology like probably in during md time what we read is 20 to 30 percent of what is probably required to be known while entering dm so that transition that has to be made probably requires a helping hand and that has been speed for us so speed videos help it help us in that way that you get a foundation get a base understand the concepts then you can build on your knowledge by reading whatever book you want so that is how i feel that uh, we should utilize the speed videos the speed mcqs all the explanations everything that has been given that that is very helpful so this way we, it is it will the best way to approach the entrance exams in a short period of time if you want to crack it to the best way it's great now after time to thank and whom you want to thank and opportunity to uh, the platform to thank whom you want felt that they help you in your career all through this process so firstly i would like to thank god he has been with me throughout my journey my parents they have been always supportive of whatever decisions i want to take however brave they may be uh, my friends here who have constantly been my pillars of support during the rigorous years of residency and also during this preparatory months all my professors who have taught me and enabled me to do good in the field of medicine since mbbs and md times and of course speed and the faculty of speed and whose relentless hard work actually helped me to get the ranks and the dream ranks that i want i would like to just like to say this sir that uh, whatever speed is doing it is not only enabling us to get good ranks but it is also ensuring that it is spread, like we have better quality of doctors in the future it is giving us all the latest information latest all the data that may not be appro- accessible to everybody around the country but speed is getting that to us at the maybe uh, touch of a screen so that is wonderful sir hats off to that sir thank you doctor i mean well said and uh, we appreciate all your feedbacks and uh, thank you sir whenever the team looks into uh, your feedback they will feel really happy and encouraged and before uh, we complete i want you i mean uh, i want and i want to wish you great career uh, in cardiology and as a great cardiologist you used to come and to contribute a lot because you are interested uh, in physics and interest in technology and because i'll tell you uh, <coughs> and if i could remember way back uh, 20 30 years back even more than that 30 35 years back and uh, in 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 madras medical college when i they used to pull me in anjo at the point of time there is the stents the gluting stents and all those what latest technologies there those days it was not there and uh, there was on uh, cardiologist in mmc hostel what he used to do it seems is that in the screen uh, they used to hang the screen in the windows where they put a like a spring like string will be there i don't know how many times instead, instead of rods there is one more like a, if if you will pull it will come like a string In a, in a stainless steel, it will be like a spring, and it will be like a half right. spring. You can uh, put it. So, what he what he thought that this is the rod is not amenable, but the, the spring is amenable, and uh, and uh, but uh, there is a hole inside, and uh, and and also the, it can go into the vessel uh, even whatever the. changes in the directions of the vessel it turns it can also go along that at the same time it does a human also inside so what he did he went to the mechanics to the engineering lathe and he said exactly like a spring rod exactly like a spring rod that this is a spring which is maybe used to put the screen inside you just make mm-hmm. in a smaller size the same the, the the same concept you give it in a very smaller size and that he tried in the cadavers that he tried and went to the mortuary he he tried in the cadavers uh, to put in to push in and and again the size was not enough again he went back and made different sizes and and then and eventually uh, he went for higher studies in us and the same concept was employed 
to create stunts great so great <laughs> see how from where it where it evolved but people will not know there is an there is an indian who devised it but it came from america the most of the things will be made from here it will be sent to america and will be labeled from there it will be back to us so and uh, and after that lot of advances came and but it was preliminary it is it was an idea I mean uh, uh, of a student who was in madras medical college and who was in a cardiology department <laughs> so the contribution uh, the contribution could be uh, to any level and because you have uh, that additional mind in you and uh, it can think and it can innovate a lot of things and that see today it has reduced half of the job for the cardiac surgeons now now what half of the job 80% of the job of a cardiac surgeon is not there cabg is the bread and butter so cabg is the bread and butter and even um, no, the survival is only because of a triple vessel disease yes and for certain triple vessel and uh, and one vessel uh, less than 50 uh, double stenting is done and uh, <laughs> so uh, and uh, then, then valve became uh, uh, the most uh, important bread winning uh, subject for um, cardiac surgeons and now uh, tavi came and uh, really everything uh, minimal invasive came today they become surgeons cardia cardia uh, cardiologists are surgeons today they I mean uh, they do both medicine and surgery everything uh, all together finish chapter closed huh? we have only congenital now yes, yes, yes. <laughs> even for that device course is there huh? only uh, pulmonary hypertension he develops irreversible and then we can't also operate and prognosis is bad so <laughs> so how much uh, uh, invention has come and but end of the day whoever has job no job that is secondary patients are benefited that's it the yeah, patients are uh, Uh, greatly benefited and because you have that mind uh, definitely you, your uh, application because we have become more skilled uh, resource persons in the, today in our country mm-hmm. we read somebody has written the book of brown world we read that and uh, we practice in our patient and uh, and uh, b- see though everybody is same but uh, culturally and uh, disease wise and presentation and response wise every kind of people have different responses and uh, and for our patients and uh, um, the, the material is ours and if if somebody some one innovation will make a huge revolution <laughs> in medicine and uh, and, yeah. and that too in field like cardiology will have tremendous impact have a great impact and i wish you uh, that if you could take one and do it and it will be nothing like that and uh, for that i wish you all the very best and all the success and uh, keep moving keep moving and uh, keep inspiring us and we will love to learn a uh, lot more achievements in days to come and for that advance congratulations best wishes thank you thank you, uh, thank you. for, thank for you so what much. little that we could uh, be part of your uh, assistance uh, during your uh, preparation days that we did and after that then we are all through to do what we want thank you